We now may hug Scabies so tight as Oni arrives Paris shortly after when Naomi complained that she no longer feels safe there. And this is happening because uh, Ashley have been following her without her consent. <laughs> One thing we have been hearing lately is that the kind of love that exists between KBAC and uh, Queen Naomi these days, it is, it is looking like, you know, the kind of relationship that is between a young boy and a young girl who just fall in love, you know, they would want to, as in, I don't know, they wouldn't want to let any one of them go. <laughs> That's the way it is feeling for the both of them right now from the information we are gathering allegedly. And that is why uh, it is beginning to look like KBC no longer cares about the other wives. Information have it that they have been complaining so bitterly lately over how KBC is treating them. He no longer pick their calls. He no longer make out time with for them. Every now and then, if he is not with Queen Naomi in Lakey Mansion, he is with Queen Naomi in the new beach house, the new beach resort that he just acquired in Queen Naomi's name. And now that Queen Naomi have gone to Paris, they said he have started missing her already. And she just to spend three days there. And when uh, uh, when Naomi called KBAC to tell KBAC that look, oh, that uh, Ashley storms her hotel in Paris, insisting that they must talk, you know, that she is no longer safe. That how can Ashley be following her like that, even to the point of flying all the way to Paris just to monitor her and uh, uh, following her around. That she's no longer, she no longer feels safe. That she's returning back to Nigeria with immediately. And they said, Kabiasi told her not to return. That uh, he is going to send some security guard to be following her around until she's ready to spend the, uh, the three days that she have planned to spend. And maybe that did not work, although we heard that she, yeah, KBC sent some guards uh, across. But maybe he feels that it would be better that uh, he also spent time with her there. It's a golden opportunity for us. To me, oh, that is the kind of prayer that, I, or that is the kind of news I want to be hearing right now. That they are together, they are spending time together, they are doing that together, doing uh, everything together. So that in no, long, in no time, um, Tadenika will have a sibling. That is my prayer. <laughs> so they said, Kabi has left to Paris. He didn't even plan it. It's just an impromptu travel that he has to make to be with Queen Naomi. And they said the moment he got to where Queen Naomi was, they said Queen Naomi could no, as an her happiness no knows no bound that he holds KBS so tight. You know what that means. <laughs> you know how it feels. <laughs> for those of you who have missed your spouse for some time, you know what it feels whenever he or she returns back like that. That is how they said the two of them were feeling. Oh, and I just feel that nothing will cut this joyfulness and the happy mood off again. Because the wives are working so hard. See the Oloris, they are not giving up. They are not giving up. They are working tirelessly to ensure that that did not happen. As a matter of fact, there was this news that when Ashley uh, went to Queen Naomi, allegedly, don't forget that these are all alleged information, that that point that Queen Naomi called KBSC to let KBSC know what is happening in Paris there, that the Yamifa was around and the Yamifa told KBAC that on no account should Queen Naomi give uh, Olori Kalabash an opportunity to speak with her. That her mission was to sit down one-on-one -on -one with Queen Naomi, look into Queen Naomi's eyes all in the name of discussion. Then she will achieve her aim of bringing separation again between KBAC and the Queen Naomi. And before now, she is the main agent of that separation. 
Yes, because if you have been following the gist, how she was staying with Queen Naomi, how she was knocking KBC behind Queen Naomi's back, how she let her gang up with uh, Iyala J and some elders and manipulated Queen Naomi out of the palace. Anything is possible. So they said Iyami if I have won KBC that on no account should Queen Naomi speak or want to give her the opportunity to speak with her. So I don't know if that's the main reason why Queen Naomi says she no longer feels safe there in Paris and decided to come back. But the second KBC told her no. You see that enjoyment, you must catch it there. That enjoyment, you must enjoy it to the fullest. Nothing can cut it short. Not even the presence of this uh, Uluri Kalabash. Not, as a matter of fact, I am coming over. You know that when KBS is there, who they breathe? Nobody. Who can even say, uh, let her go and distract them? Nobody now. So maybe that's why they say KBS decided to move to Paris in order to keep her company, you know. And it's even better. So it is enjoyment all the way. <laughs> you see, the wives are running helter skelter. They are just wishing that they can turn the uh, hands of time backward to when they were they, when they were the ones enjoying KBAC, you know, pushing Quinami by the side, making Quinami feel bad. Oh, this life, self, this life, no balance, so. But one thing I do know is that you see that thing that does not belong to you. Why you are enjoying it, enjoy it while it lasts because it's not going to last forever. But the one that belongs to you, you are going to enjoy it till old age. And my prayer for Queen Naomi and KBC is that you see this love that we're hearing about right now, it is going to last for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so nothing can stop it again. No babalawo from any shrine can stop it again. No manipulations of the evil ones again can stop it. Anyhow they try, they are going to fail. Yes, because it is their time to shine. And they must rise and shine, whether the devil likes it or not. So they said they could not hold their joy and happiness when Queen Naomi saw that Kabi Esu really came for her. And it gives happiness and joy. When you need him most, he is there for you. Ah. Had it been Kabiesu was doing like this at first, Kabi, uh, Kwenami wouldn't have left the palace. But all the same, if, if he starts today to do what is expected of him, there will be no problem. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Tell me what you think about it on the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Love you guys.